my channel, guys. And welcome back, my long hair. Also, welcome back to lots of new products you didn't know I bought. And welcome back to, wow, Jessica has a serious consumerism issue that she really needs to curb. I'm just gonna stop yammering. Really, this is just a whole video of the new stuff inside my collection. I have quite an array. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, do all the things before we get into the video. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And let's get into the stuff you actually wanna see. Let's go. First up is this puppy. I didn't mention that I got this, but I believe I did a poll on Instagram about whether or not you guys wanted to see this one. This is Lancome's new priming serum, which kind of reminds me a lot of the Tatcha uh, canvas primer. And it comes with like the little stick and then underneath is what they're saying is a primer serum. So you could do this essentially and have it be super, super light. Or as you can see out right there, I kind of like dug a little bit out. And you're supposed to take like kind of a little chunk out there. The texture and formulation does remind me a lot of the Tatcha canvas one. I just don't know if I truly actually really like this. It says it's a 24 hour hydrating solid smoothing primer. Do I think this is smoothing? No, I actually don't feel like it does. It doesn't hide my pores in any way, shape or form. In fact, it might emphasize them. Um, but the claims were so big that I just felt like, oh man, I totally have to get down on this. 72% said it blurred and minimized pores. It didn't but it does make my skin feel smoother and I do think it's a nice prep. There is an extra step that I would take to put just on like the little pore areas that I have problems with on myself. I do think that it has the ability to smooth. I just wouldn't say I would use this as a pore primer. It is very beautiful and I will use it because it's expensive and gorgeous and I already have it in my collection so I'm going to go through it. But it is not my number one favorite primer and I would not recommend anyone use it just for pores alone. I actually mentioned this one in my last video. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. Um, and if you haven't heard about this, well, you should. This is like another one of the same things that have been coming out like crazy lately, which is just like a full coverage concealer that you could use all over. I got more of a color that I would use strictly as a concealer underneath the eyes and to highlight or um, conceal any areas that I want rather than like an all over the face foundation. But uh, if I'm honest, I probably will go back and get a color that's closer to my skin because I love the formulation. And I showed in my last video what's so cool about this. I don't think I have any other product with a wand like this. So it's like flayed out. And then there's even like a little hole. I don't even know, it's like a tulip or something. There's a little hole that holds the product in there. And it's just, it's just magical. It makes the product so easy to apply. You only have to pull it out, use it wherever you want it, and then you're done. You don't have to keep sticking it back in and reapplying. It's just such an amazing applicator. I wish more companies would use an applicator like this. I have the shade Sand, and it is a little yellow base, so I think going forward, if I were to get another color, I would pick something that was a little more neutral, even a little tit of pink in it, because this is bordering yellow for me. So, um, but the formulation itself is amazing. Amazing, Jessica. I found a cup of soap on the arrowhead. I actually use this every day, if not every other day, currently right now, because I'm still testing it out more and more, but I just love it more and more. So yeah, good stuff. Now I put this in another video, but it is new in my collection, and this is the Tatouage Couture Velvet Cream from East Saint Laurent. It is the lip color that I actually have on right now, and it is it really is just a dream. Again, I don't know what it is with me and applicators, but this is the applicator of my dreams, at least for lips. Um, it's so sharp and pointed on the edge there, it's really hard to tell, and it's so flexible. You can kind of see how it bends right there. It's so stinking flexible. So because of this sharp point and because it's so thin, it just really makes applying this like a dream. It's like... It's just, see that? It's like a perfect, precise point every time. Oh, it just makes putting it on so fun and so much easier. I only have this one shade, but the next time I go all out, I am definitely getting another shade or two of this. The formulation is great. It stays on your lips for hours once you let it dry. Um, I have the shade 204 Beige Underground, but I'm looking to get some more because I really, really like the formulation. Stays on. It's not 
matte to where you look like your lips are like caking and you're in the Sahara Desert. It's just like a nice smoothing, sort of almost satin like finish. Definitely not super, super, super matte, but it doesn't have like a shine or a gloss to it. It just stays on your mouth. Oh. For so long I absolutely love it it's such a great product and it has a hint of like a sweet minty vanilla it's really 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 good in that same vein I actually use this in one of my last videos as well this is the refi lip sculpt I tell ya. I have only bought a couple things from refi but everything I buy from them I really really like this is um, the shade rosewood and I actually waited quite a while for this to come back in stock because it sold out um, but it is the actual lip liner itself which is so like my perfect shade I have it on as a lip liner with this product that I'm already wearing the the YSL but it's just like my perfect shade I usually wear colors in this tone every day for like my everyday wear and then the clincher is at the bottom you unscrew and there is this little spot here so this is almost I'm gonna say like a velvetizer so if you had something on your lips that was somewhat shiny, if you added this to it, it almost turns it like almost instantly into like a velvety texture across your lips. And then holy smokes, does it stay. This is like a tattoo keeper or something for your lips. It literally keeps it on like all day and it will not budge. It makes it like sets the lip look that you're doing right in place. So if you are somebody who really likes doing like a contoured or an ombre lip and you're using multiple different colors across your lips to achieve that look, this would be kind of like your setter. Like a, like a setting mist, but for your lips instead. And it would set all that in place and it would not move, it would not budge. And it would make your lips kind of feel like velvet. It's a really, really great product. I do want to get it in other colors, but man, is it selling out quick. Really great addition to my collection. Super happy I got it. This. This is Derma Blends Insta Grip Jelly Primer, which is a three-in-one multitasking primer. I am alone in my principles, I feel like. I really, really like like jelly pack type primers. Since I've been on YouTube, I always talk about a jelly primer. I really love the idea of it. It fills in pores, it sticks to your skin, it grips makeup, like there's no bad downsides to me. Some people have a really hard time working with the jelly primer. I get it, I totally understand. Not all jelly primers are created equal, but it's literally like a jelly. You definitely want to press this in, and it has kind of like a sticky texture. I don't know if you can see that. It is sticky. It's a, it's a jelly sticky. So you just press that in, and you keep pressing it until it becomes one with your skin, which it will. Don't panic. The thing about a jelly grip primer is it does exactly that. It grips. It, it is bulletproof. If you want your foundation, your makeup, your concealer to last all flipping day then get yourself a jelly grip primer it is amazing because when i use it like i like to mix things in case you guys didn't notice i will mix um primers some for pores some for um, smoothing or blurring some to grip whatever it is I will mix them and layer them but when I use this I don't layer it with anything else I just strictly use this only because it will fill in my pores it will smooth everything and even everything out and it will also grip my makeup there's just there's no way to go wrong with this one but Dermablend I think has the best version of it and even though I'm drinking espresso and I feel and it looks like I'm wearing a sweater I am sweating like the dickens because where i live it's flipping hot here still so having a jelly grip primer is amazing for someone like me who is still living in a climate where it is like the surface of the sun all the time it's really a game changer for people who are looking to keep their makeup smooth and intact all day in addition to these <laughs> now both of these I've actually mentioned on my channel but one I have in a new shade and the other one I actually just made an entire video about so if you're curious go watch that video but this is Milk's Future Fluid All Over Concealer absolutely absolutely amazing product it's actually the foundation I have mixed with one other very lightweight product on my skin right now and it is a dream come true it's smoothing it's hydrating it's thin but it is like pigmented and covers like it's just the best idea overall I actually 
really, really rate this product very highly. Um, and I am super glad every single day that I use it, that I'm happy that I got it because it's just a great, great product. Um, very new to my collection and already one of my favorite things to use. In addition to this, which I've talked about many times, is the Tinnitol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have yet another shade. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I have one that I use as like a bronzer or a contour. I have one that I use underneath my eyes to brighten and highlight. And I have one that I use as more of like my skin tone to conceal. In the past, I've used those other two. And this one I have bought as like a brightening concealer. Um, and it is just everything. I already know I like it because I already have other shades of it. It's just so good. The applicator is ginormous. Again, me with the applicators. I feel like the application process is paramount, but it's actually really huge for the size product it is um, but it is so thin so pigmented it does dry down pretty quickly though so you do have to work with it but this in combination with your finger or a very dense brush ugh, it's so good it just like melts into your skin and looks like you have perfect skin wherever you lay it and wherever you press it it is so so good i highly highly recommend trying this out finding a shade for you whether you're looking for contouring bronzing highlighting all over the face whatever it is this is your jam i'm telling you it's so so good this is for a couple of you out there i took the plunge because so many of you guys actually dm'd me or wrote me a comment over the last couple years about this nikia joy cosmetics velvet finishing powder so i've actually tried this a couple times I hate to break bad news to people. I really do. I don't hate it. It is not the worst powder I've ever tried. It's not my favorite. Uh, I think I need to spend a little more time playing around with it. Maybe use it through the winter, kind of see how I feel about it. Um, it's, it's okay. I think my skin is so dry that this is, because this has a lot of um, opacity and the ability to give you a velvet finish, but with somebody who has such dry skin, a lot of lines right now. Um, I have to go in very sparingly with it. So it's it's a love-hate relationship, but I'm still playing around with it. I'm still working with it. I know a lot of people swear by this, um, but I'm, I'm still messing around with it, so don't kill me yet. But it's not my favorite, but it is in my collection right now, so I did buy it. It is new to me, and I'm still trying it out, okay? Guys, this is huge. But also, it's like really good. I saw that this was like going viral. And um, I know this, Naturium, is like everywhere in Targets and stuff all over the place. And there is so many different types of body washes of this. They all have like stinking amazing reviews. But this is the one that I really, really wanted. And it was actually really, really hard to find. <laughs> this is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash, which is a oil to gel formula. What? I have to like think about that every time I say it. Oil to gel. But seriously, when you're in the shower and you put it on, it's like, yes, oil to gel. I love oil to gel. It's so nice. There's not really like any specific scent, um, but this makes your skin so soft. I wish I could tell you. And in fact, if you are somebody who is a self tanner, I would highly recommend this product after you have done like your exfoliation and stuff in the shower using this because it's so hydrating across your skin. It's like infusing the oil back in there after you've stripped off the old tan that when I put on my next layer of tan, it made it so smooth and wonderful. So I actually really rate this product a lot. I even use it on my son who's four. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I don't know, but he loved it because he was like, oh, it's so soft. Like it makes you feel so soft, hydrated. Um, it just leaves like this really just gorgeous feeling across the skin. So absolutely love this. If you can get your hands on it, do it. I will try and link it down below, but there's no guarantees whether or not it's in stock, but very, very good. In case you don't know, I'm actually really, really addicted to Hourglass, which I actually feel like most everybody knows at this point. I love all Hourglass products. I like their lipsticks. I like their foundations. But mostly, I like their powders. So I have so many Hourglass powders. But when they came out with this whole collection for the animals, I just could not. I could not resist, okay? First of all, Proceeds go to animals, love, right? And second of all, these colors, oh, I feel like maybe I got one of the shade ranges that most people didn't. A lot of people were picking um, different palettes. You could sort of mix and match these. Um, 
but I use these two shades nearly every single day. They're absolutely perfect for me for under the eye. I love, love, love these. It's actually currently what I have to set underneath my eye right now, and I've used it in another video, um, my last video, and it's really, really great. The blushes, I believe one shade is new, this one right here, and they're great as well. And then these two over here are like a strobing powder. Okay, we're just, I'm just gonna show you. I mean, I already have so much glow going on. It's freaking ridiculous. But this just, oh, can you see that? Can you see it? It's like ethereal, like otherworldly. I just mix these two. And it is like, look at that. Look at that. It's just a game changer. I mean, it is so pretty. I believe one of these strobing powders is new as well. If you can get your hands on one of these, I do not think that you will be disappointed in any way, shape, or form. And I also feel like if you don't want to buy a whole palette, any of these powders are great. I will link some of my favorite hourglass below in the mini size. So if you're looking for um, to try out an hourglass powder, because they really are good for like an all over finishing powder, which I'm about to show you, I will link some of the little minis like dim light or whatever down below. So you can just try it out for yourself because I mean, this is just it's a hidden gem in the world of beauty. Which brings me to this one. This is the Ambient Lightning Infinity Powder. This has actually been around for a little bit longer, but I believe it's just a standalone product. There is nothing else on their website like it. There is nothing else in the entire makeup industry that I've seen thus far like it. They use a very specific way of processing and packaging this and mixing it to get it to be this way. So you can see kind of like the marbling effect in there. That is a very specific way that they put it in. It has a name that I don't know off the top of my head right now. Sort of like a luminizing finishing powder. So it has a little bit of pigment to it. You can kind of see the swirls of brown and then a little bit of highlight to it. And I just take the lightest little bit and this I use to do exactly what it is, like finish off my makeup. So you can see, like right here, up close, you can see on just one side of my cheek, after you've put this finishing powder on, here you can kind of see a little bit of like some pore areas happening here, whereas this just got smoothed all the way across. I don't know if you can tell. I don't think the camera is gonna do it justice. But it will just smooth things out and make it so evenly. This one has the ability though to really do a little bit of strobing. The other hourglass finishing powders do cast a little bit of light across your face, so just a soft, subtle glow, whereas this one's gonna give you a little bit more of like a glow, like a little bit more of a strobing effect to it, which is the only product they have that is like that. Um, besides, I think there's one more blush that does that. And I like that because you know me, I'm like a glow ball. I love everything glowy and stroby and all that kind of jazz. So for me, this just works so well. Um, and I can't believe I didn't buy it before because it's that good. I really, really, really like it. Mm, I had to break it to my Halloween candy stash. Mm. Your girl's gotta eat, okay? This, I actually did a small video on my Instagram about already, so if you're not following me over on Instagram, you should probably do that because I do a lot of polls and things like this over there. But Jane Iredell is just like the absolute best and they send me such good stuff. They came out with new shades of their blush stick, um, which are absolutely amazing and it's actually the really nice light color that I have on my face currently. It's so just beautiful. The cream is so easy to work with very thin, melts into the skin, gorgeous, gorgeous products. This is the shade Afterglow, which is what I just put on my face right there. Super beautiful. I usually use like a nice uh, dense but slightly fluffy brush to apply these. They're so pretty on the skin, just really sinks in. And then they came out with a new bronzer stick. And I have the shade Scorch. You can see it is very, very much for me a contour shade. And that's what I've been using it for, just like as a contour. It's so good. It's like a cream, but a very stiff cream. So it applies a lot of pigment, but also doesn't move around because you want the cream portion of a product to really melt into the skin. But sometimes a cream product will also then move off of your skin. This is a very dense cream, so it kind of stays and sticks, melts, and then stays. Like that's really what you want 
a cream product to do. Very excellent. And then I got these, which have been my jam ever since they sent them to me. Um, if I'm not wearing just like a basic lip liner, I will use these. These are the Beyond Matte Lip Stains. They're so cool. The one I wear all the time is actually my bag. Basic applicator, really, really thin, thin product. I mean, look at that. Truest of all true stains that you can get. It's not a color that sits across your lips. It literally like sinks in like water and stains your lips and stays there. Two decades ago, I got really into lip stains and like nobody else was into lip stains at the time. Um, and I just swore by them. I loved them so, so much. And I'm so happy to see that other people are on board with this and loving it a lot more now because a lip stain is so good if you don't wanna add lots of product or keep reapplying product or have it come off on your mugs or your cups or your straws or whatever it else, your teeth which is usually me. Um, a lip stain just literally sticks and stays to your lips and all of their colors are very everyday, which I really, really enjoy about them because once you apply them, they're not gonna be that opaque across the lip. It just sort of stains them into a different hue or to a hue that's very similar to your lip color. So absolutely love that product. Super great stain power. The one problem with a lip stain is that it can really dry out your lips quite bad and these don't do that, which is why I love them so much because my lips are like the same. Sahara Desert all the time and these don't emphasize that there is a problem on the Sahara Desert of my lips and they also don't make them dry as well. They just really leave a nice beautiful juicy stain that stays there for a long time and I love 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 it. Okay I think that's all I got for you guys today. As always I will link everything that I used in today's video down below of course and yeah thanks for sitting down and hanging out with me today. Can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comments and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.